Today's session will be led by Lori McNally and Dan Tronley. Lori is the VP of Global Business Development and Alliances here at SAP, and Dan is a technology evangelist and senior consultant at Kronos. Lori, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jesse. Good morning, evening, afternoon, everybody. We are absolutely delighted to be presenting to you today on the, um, the go-to-market strategy as it pertains to SAP time management. Let's start by asking just a, a quick polling question. Do you feel your organization has optimized scheduling to control costs? So if you could just um, click yes or no so we can compile some of those results, that would be great. And I'm going to now move on and talk a little bit about what our strategy is while we're waiting for those polling questions to, to kind of tally. What is SAP's time and attendance strategy? Well, we're really looking at taking time to a broader experience across the intelligent enterprise. We know that many times when you think of time, you think of it as a traditional punch in and, and punch out, but it really has become so much more than traditional just timekeeping. What we're hearing from the, the marketplace and from customers is it's all about the experience. It's about how the employee engages with the organization. It's about how do we leverage the data to make better decisions and, and, and prepare for things like optimizing and, and scheduling. And how do we look at taking time and attendance strategy across all aspects of how people engage within an organization? So whether you're a contingent worker or whether you're on the shop floor, really looking and taking that, that traditional punch in, punch out mentality to something that's much more broader and a better experience that's delivered across the enterprise. So let's look at our results. Okay, I'm glad we're here because <laughs> many of you feel that uh, you haven't optimized scheduling. And, and again, this is not something that we see more as a result of what's going on within organizations, but many times what we see is the, techno not, the technology isn't lending itself to some of the things that we leverage today in building out greater experiences, greater, greater data, and uh, actually better results because of some of the technology that's behind the uh, application. So thinking a little bit about what you may have heard within the, the SAP Success Factors organization, um, we do have a time solution ourselves. It's part of uh, Employee Central, and it's called Employee Central Time Management. It's in over 150 countries, being used by you know lots of customers, lots of users. But it really is is that kind of basic scheduling and basic clocking in and out and and accounting for time. Um, our new uh, solution, which is SAP Time Management by Kronos is what we would call a solution extension. So it's actually a third-party product that we um, take into our, our, um, our own um, organization and we brand it as SAP's product. So it really looks and feels no different than any other success factors or SAP product that you may, may have purchased. Um, it gets contracted on our paper. We provide first level line of support and we go to market with a par partner for not just an integrated, uh, deep integration um, as it pertains to what you might see today, but a longer term, deep integrated roadmap. And for many of you who are in the SAP family, you're hearing a lot about the in intelligent enterprise and time kind of spanning across um, Field Glass, for example, or S4, and, and even in, in Employee Central as far as clocking in and out for traditional payroll purposes. So we're really excited to be going to market with, with Kronos as our, as our partner in this space. And what you'll think, what I think you'll hear today from, from Dan is that there is a tremendous amount of value when you look at um, how we can provide a ROI, not just um, short-term ROI, but they have a long-term vision when they work uh, with, with customers to get better results throughout time. So as the technology improves, um, as their processes change, as compliance and region changes, uh, we kind of come along with you. And the beauty of, of this is that you can contract it all and get the support and the, the integrated roadmap directly from SAP Success Factors. So I'm going to now turn it over to Dan, and I'm going to let Dan talk a little bit about what he sees in the marketplace as it pertains to kind of the newer uh, technology that's out there and more specifically their cloud solution uh, called Dimension. 
Thank you, Lori. Uh, on the slide, there's probably five different buckets here. There's a lot more information that's available, whether it's through Kronos or the SAP Success Factors reps, regardless. These five factors are something that we're spending an enormous amount of time in our solution build. From the upper left-hand side, poor wo uh, workforce productivity. Are, are the workers doing what they need to do? Are they coming in on time? Are they coming in too early? That has to do not, not only with scheduling, but it has to do with do we have the right skill set in front of whatever it is they're doing. Uh, the second one there on the left-hand side, lack of insight. These, we get managers and executives and people on the front lines or even up higher in the organization, and I'd say, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? Do we have too much overtime? Commonly, the information, just about overtime as an example, doesn't get to the right level to make a decision about whether or not they should have done overtime in the first place until way after the fact. A week, a two, a two weeks later, a month later, oh, my God, we had overtime. Why did we do it? Wouldn't it be nice if we had the insight to that information immediately, right now, so that we can make a decision on it? The upper right-hand corner, the disengaged employees, we find that, especially in the states and certainly without uh, – you know, without borders, as far as the younger people using their smartphones, they're very disengaged. If they can't get access to their information, when do I start? When am I on schedule next? How much overtime have I already put in? When is my next day off? What are my crew balances? All of that is instantaneous information that a person or an employee in any organization commonly wants at their fingertips right now. It's, it's, it, it can't be a later. It can't be I send an email off saying, uh, tell me how much vacation time I have. Uh, and then a week later, somebody gets back to him and says, well, you had 40 hours when you asked. Compliance or being the fear of being in compliance. Uh, I, the best example I give you is retail. Is, is, do you have a minor working? Is that minor working too many hours this week and you should send them home because they need to be, you know, it's just a school week and they need to not be on the clock anymore. Uh, insight on best practices. Uh, are your drivers working too long? Hours of service on the road? You know, there's too much overtime. That whole component of instant information in order for you, your customer, your organization, if you're a partner, all those customers you're working with, how do you stay in compliance? And then lastly on the bottom, yesterday's time and attendance solutions, especially if they're paper or they're manual, doesn't allow you to move forward. It doesn't allow you to gain any traction in going further as far as the industry is concerned. So duplicate slide, but let me go over here as far as this one is concerned. So the trends we see, and part of the reason I think not only Kronos is really, really excited about this engagement, this, this Solex with uh, Success Factors SAP, but we're hearing it from the other side, SAP Success Factors equally and almost exponentially excited because we have a solution that can do a lot of things. We have a solution that when combined with the success factor suite, allow you to seamlessly integrate, you know, your demographics over here on the left-hand side, you put a new employee into success factors, it automatically flows over to dimensions. The competition for talent. We know that in a marketplace where there's low unemployment, you're constantly stealing employees from other companies and if you have a great solution, whether it's, you know, employee engagement, what we talked about, you can use your mobile device. It's getting access, to the, uh, getting access to the information for both the managers and employees so they can do their job. Employee expectations, you know, I expect, I want to know tomorrow what, what's my schedule for next week. Employee engagement, productivity, how much did I do uh, last week, how many hours, when is my next PTO. And then as technology shifts, and we're going to spend time on this here in just a minute. The product I'm about to show you is device agnostic. So, yes, we build mobile first, but it really doesn't matter because what we're building can be certainly displayed on mobile and anywhere else because we, we build it in a device agnostic mode. So this entire slide is a paradigm shift. We've created a suite of products which have these five components as pillars to creating this new environment, different than any other product we've had before, but it's fundamentally to put the employee first, to put the managers first as far as getting that information, and then certainly making sure that we have 
a product that satisfies both those levels and continue to move forward. So with that, I think we have another poll before I go. Right. So thank you, Dan. I think, um, you know, just a little bit on your last slide, I think um, every, every uh, customer that I meet with has the same concerns. And that's the beauty of what we can bring together is a seamless experience from, from core to, to payroll and time, right? And, and put it in a way that's engaging for the employees. So let's take a quick polling question now and ask about, you know, the compliance issue. I, I know as a lot more companies go global, um, different labor laws in different states, like take California, for example, in North America, or even um, the work laws and labor laws in Brazil. Are you concerned about ensuring compliance as it relates to time and attendance? If you could just quickly answer yes or no and hit submit, that would be great. And while we're waiting for that, um, the polling questions to come in, um, Dan, maybe you could talk a little bit of, of, about, you know, kind of the ROI that we see in, in a solution like SAP time management. Uh, certainly. So we have uh, partnered with uh, SAP and SuccessFactor sales reps. We have a number of tools that we have in place. Some of these we're providing to our partners as well. But the ROI uh, can vary. But certainly the ROI is based on whether or not you're working with attendance, you're, you know, and if, if you're in the states that's FMLA, whether or not you're automated already or you're manual and you're moving to an automated process. Uh, the ROI has to do with, uh, you know, and I'm going to show you in just a moment here in the demo, the whole issue of overtime and compliance. And if you can save, you know, even 2% on your overtime and schedule the people appropriately and scheduling and advanced scheduling is all part of that ROI and I'm saying it again at a very high level, but any one of those we can dive deeper down into and provide realistic uh, dollar benefits to the customer. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm, I'm off, oftentimes um, in speaking with customers, we talk a lot about, uh, um, you know, employee engagement and efficiencies and those kinds of things. And, you know, the, the reality is it's gone way, way much further past that now. It's all about optimize scheduling, getting the right people with the right skills, you know, um, with the right tenure in certain scenarios with unions and so forth, you know, um, working and then looking at optimizing, you know, your overtime costs or, um, you know, folks punching each other in or punching each other out right? all those kinds of things that add up to, to a kind of a, a total cost of, of, of ownership versus the, the uh, return on investment that you get when you do things like optimize scheduling and compliance. So let's take a look at um, the, the polling results. And again, no big surprise here. I think um, um, as we work and live now in more of a global environment, um, the fact that you know not only the different states have different labor laws, but country by country it, it varies. And it certainly is um, very, very complex. And this is one of the biggest reasons we see people kind of inquiring into SAP time, time management is because of the compliance reasons. So, I think now we're going to um, move to the next slide, which is, um, I think, Dan, you're going to walk through some of the aspects of, of mobile and the employee and the manager experience, and then uh, we'll do a quick tour of the uh, Absolutely. So uh, I only have a couple slides here, but it's actually easier to show this on a slide than it is to try to demo it in a short amount of time. But if you notice here, uh, this is a, again, I'm just showing mobile, but it doesn't matter what device you're on. Uh, within the new Dimensions product under, under the, the time and attendance here, the Solex for SAP, we, we have the ability to alert, uh, especially compli uh, compliance issues before they happen. Uh, so this one, as an example, if you notice somebody punched in uh, um, 40 minutes late, he's going to go into overtime, what do you want to do? Giving the manager some real-time information, what do we need to do with this situation? Uh, I'm going to go to another example. This is what you would see if you were an employee. You get to see your time card. You get to see the entire uh, component about what my time card is, how many hours I have. Everything is available to that demographic that uses their smart device, their smartphone at all times. But it's also available, and I went very quickly, so it should be repa repainting right now here. It's also available for the managers. The managers, if they're allowed in the states that they're allowed or the cities, and I know there's rules around this, if they're allowed to get access to the application in either off hours or off campus, they can take key actions about approving overtime, about assigning schedules. This new managed schedule with the employee spaces, I'm going to show you live in just a moment. It's very exciting. 
But the managers, and I switch cards, uh, slides again here, they can approve time cards. They can approve shift schedules. They can do other common workflows, like in a proxy scenario, approve for somebody else that's not here. So everything a manager can do, they can do from their smartphone, just like everything an employee can do with this product, they can do from their smartphone as well. Again, device agnostic, but we've designed for mobile first. This is probably one of the most exciting slides I have before I get into the demo. These compliance components are built into the application. So if you want, as an example, punch detection, I haven't seen a punch they're about to go in overtime. We can real time figure out based on what they've already worked and what they're projected to work, will it put them into overtime? And what do you want to do about it? Do you want to send them home? We also have the coverage monitoring. If you see there, uh, you know, somebody's not punched in or is about to punch in, rule checking over on the right hand side. I mentioned minors as an example. So and so needs to check out they've worked too long. In other words, go do something about it. So with that, I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to go into a live demo here. Thanks, Dan. And while First you're pulling that up, I, I just want to um, to just kind of punctuate what, what you said. Like the, a lot of the systems out there don't have that mobile capability uh, and the ability to engage with the employee and the manager in the, in the heat of the moment when those things happen. So when someone does call off, um, who's the next person in line um, as it pertains to, again, skill and, and, and tenure and those kinds of things. So really, really exciting uh, couple of slides with the uh, enhanced mobility functionality. Excellent. Can you see my uh, the employee screen here, Lurt? Yes, we I can. I just want to make sure it's being shared. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes. So I've logged into a tenant. This is a dimensions tenant. I've logged in as an employee. There's only three things I want to show here, and then we'll jump in as a manager. All the tiles that you see here are configurable. So we can make it as busy as you want, less busy as you want, doesn't matter. Uh, we can also have an employee central tile. Here's one of those tiles we can jump to employee central. That's already been built. That's working. But notice here, I've just, for this demo purposes, I brought up five things that are really important to talk about. One is schedule. What is my schedule for today? What is my schedule for tomorrow? Uh, time off. Do I want to request time off? Do I want to do it right now? I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, what are my exceptions? As of right now, I have no exceptions. There's a tremendous push we're seeing in the industry where it's prompting employees, if the, if the company's allowing it, it's prompting employees to correct some of their own errors, to empower them to say, you know what? You were supposed to check out or punch out. Why don't you go fix it? I will approve it rather than having always the manager to do that. Now, again, we can turn it on. We can turn it off. It's configurable. But we're allowing the employee to see, hey, guess what? You have, and possibly, you have exceptions that you need to deal with in order for you to be paid. And one of the three most common things that we get asked for demo is, what's my accrual balance? How much time do I have? Can I take a sick day? Can I take a personal day? What's my attendance? If you're keeping track of attendance, let's say a point system. I might get a point off if I didn't show up for work. I was scheduled. I know that in this case, for this example, three points is the max. I'm a wonderful employee. I have all my points right now. But I could literally use this as a soft clock, if you will. So I'm going to clock in right now. I press the button. Boom. There's a little green thing that says punch accepted. So I now have a punch inside my time card, which just came in from right now. I'm also going to request time off just for demonstration here. I'm going to select vacation. I'm going to select, uh, let's select tomorrow. I'm going to take tomorrow off. I want it to synchronize with my uh, calendar. Let's say I want to do that. And notice it automatically said, hey, your request, was time, your request for time off was automatically approved. Within this new environment, and I don't have enough time today to go into it, but it's something we certainly can talk about. We have the ability to configure some thresholds, which says if there's certain things in place, that I have enough coverage, it's retail, I have enough people that can cover the, uh, the registers, it's manufacturing, I have enough people to cover this particular line. If there's thresholds, we want the system to automatically, if we turn it on, to go ahead and approve these time off requests so that things can happen instantly. 
and we don't have to wait forever for certain things to, to happen. So again, that's something that's available, doesn't have to be turned off. With that, I'm gonna go in as a manager for just a, sec a second, and I'm gonna show you, show, excuse me, show you what a manager would see. So different tiles, and again, they're just configured for this demonstration. If you look on the left-hand side, here's that one I showed you very briefly on the PowerPoint. This is something new we've added to this version. It has the picture of the person that's, you know, Anderson is starting. There's 10 people starting in the coming hours. We know they're coming in based on their assigned shift. Michelle Merchant, in this case, is missing. We can name it whatever we want, but she was supposed to clock in at seven and we haven't seen a punch yet. Now she may be on the floor. She may have forgotten to punch in. She may have been scheduled and, oh, by the way, she may now have a attendance problem and therefore there's a ding that's against her right now. So and so, let's see, uh, Martin McVee, is on a break. He's scheduled off. He already went to the clock. He's on a break for a, for a short amount of time. And then we see 32 persons will be leaving in the coming hours as the next shift starts. I want to share with you, though, over here, a couple of these other tiles. One thing that we've added to the Dimensions product, which SAP is very excited about, our customers are excited about, is we have this built-in analytics module. It's part of the product. You don't have to pay extra, nothing. It's all built in. We have KPIs that are built in. So we can look at, in this case, team projects. What's the percentage? We give these nice, visual, graphical, colorful pieces of information. Schedule versus actual. In this case, my electricians um, are way over. My assemblers, way over. Sometimes overtime is good, but in this case, we might want to drill into it to take a look at it. Overtime next in line. Lori briefly mentioned it. This is something that our customers have been screaming for for years. If there's somebody that I need to call in next, and it's based on either a union rule or a contract rule or however you've got it set up, who's the next person that's supposed to be offered overtime? And in this case, it's Oliver Chase. Again, all configurable, but we graphically set it up. So imagine your manager out on the uh, floor, out on the hospital floor, whatever it is, and they have all this information at their fingertips, whether it's on an iPad, on an Android, in a PC, on a smartphone, doesn't matter. They can make decisions instantly because they have all this information available. And this information is both KPI driven, analytics driven, as well as real-time driven, meaning when the actions are taking place, we get that information. Notice here under Manage Attendance, it's a tile I have set up. I can click on it. Michelle Merchant, as we already saw from up above, should have been here, so probably has a policy problem we need to deal with. We break it down by task hours, associate hours, field equipment. Again, all these are just tiles to show graphical information for this demonstration. Um, I only want to click it just momentarily on the full schedule, which should bring it up here on your screen. While it's painting, again, we've talked briefly about both optimized schedule, advanced schedule. That type of information is where many of our customers are attacking the, one of the biggest factors of the ROI. Can you schedule your employees more efficiently, either schedule to the task, schedule to the line, schedule every 15 minutes based on data of people coming in for working, you know, whether it's cash register, retail, or, or whatever the case may be. How can you schedule them more efficiently so that you can not only save money on labor, but you can save money on overtime? This is just a very quick graphic here. Here's what their schedule is. If I wanted to, I could say, you know what, I need Daniel Bragg to stay a little bit longer. If I double click on that particular part of the schedule, I can edit the shift very quickly, and I know I'm going uh, quickly here, but what you will see is I've added time to the shift. I want them to leave at 7.30 instead, and what you'll see has happened is that the change will happen automatically here on the screen. So he has now been approved by me just doing that to stay longer so we won't look for an out punch until it gets closer to that time, which I just changed. So with that, uh, Lori, something to add while I jump to the next slide. 
No, I, I, it, it's hard to um, uh, kind of skinny down a very, very, very robust product into uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So uh, I think you did an amazing job. Um, what I love most about um, the UI is it's, it's just very simple, like the, the mobile screens and even the, the actual software itself. Uh, very intuitive, very easy to get to, and I think one of the things that um, we don't have time to, to cover is, you know, all the things like, um, you know, shift swapping and bidding and, um, you know, fatigue management, um, you know, all, uh, all, uh, you know, uh, the point system as it pertains to, you know, leave, all those kinds of things are part of the, the solution, um, so it's really robust, but it's just... Uh, hard to, to boil it down to 10 or 15 minutes. I think you did an amazing job. I just want the audience to know that there's a lot more functionality behind it, and we'd be you know, very interested in hearing from you if you have additional questions around functionality or, or um, um, uh, some of the, the um, things that we just didn't get to today. So, Lori, I All think right. your slide is up. Yep. Yeah. So let me um, just kind of talk a little bit about, you know, I, I mentioned the solution extension itself, right? So for those of you, um, again, who may not be familiar with, um, with SAP um, acronyms, a, a solution uh, extension is, or Solex as we, we like to call it, is a third-party product um, that we put on our paper. So it, it, if you're a success factor or SAP Cloud customer today, um, you don't need to renegotiate another contract. It's um, it's just it's again it's an extension of our own product set. Um, we take first level line of support, and I think this is really important because you know as I've worked with with um, SAP customers and SAP Success Factors customers, when you think about you know the SI who implements your product, the technology behind it, and then the person who supports it, oftentimes there's a lot of pointing of fingers, right? Like, is that a configuration thing, or is that a technology thing, or is it a support thing? And so, you know, when we look at, at SAP Time Management by Kronos, um, again, it being our product, it, it lives and breathes like, like our product, um, we actually take that support and, and take it to a level further. So we normally get engaged during the implementation because we want to understand with your SI partner um, what's being configured. Um, what are some of the use cases? What are what are some of your processes? Uh, we want to look to be able to help you streamline those things. Um, once you do go live, you you kind of come over to the to the success factors uh, support model. So if you have a, a ticket, you place the ticket um, in your normal ticketing system. We get that ticket. We work to resolve it. Um, and in some cases, we will actually bring in Kronos on the back end to help us with that. But we kind of own the the solution. Um, from not just the uh, how you're going through implementation, but once you go live and your continued support. And then lastly, um, I think one of the things I get asked quite frequently is, um, you know, why buy from from USAP success factors and not directly from the vendor? Um, and I think the first two things kind of really make a lot of sense, especially again if you're if, if you're kind of looking to streamline how many vendors you have and and the entire support experience. Um, but the last thing is really that, that deep integrated roadmap, and not just the roadmap that you would see within SAP success factors and um, a timekeeping system, so you know it's got to connect and integrate to payroll. We know it has to integrate to core. Um, but some of the things that we're working on is that intelligent enterprise. So if you do timekeeping with contingent labor, if you do timekeeping on the shop floor, if you do um, timekeeping kind of anywhere within the intelligent enterprise, looking at, at not just the roadmap from an integration standpoint today, but what that might look like down, down the road. And, and we are jointly committed to that, and it's something that is unique to, to solution extensions. 